Well, here she is. Quick rundown from top to bottom of my network panel that I built and the cost associated and what all these items are. So let's start with the rack itself. Rack Path 9U rack, about 110 bucks. DJ American DJ switch. It's a nice switch actually for DJ lighting control compared to the other switches I saw online. They were really crap, and these are very sturdy, solid feel to them. Of course, uh, Ubiquity Unify UDM Pro 379. This is their matching Keystone jack. I think they're about 20 bucks a pop. Here's a USW uh, 24 port switch. It's a POE switch 379. Another Keystone jack. Uh, the shelves here, got a pair of shelves for about $40, 14-inch uh, depth. Really nice. So far, so good. Uh, this already had, this is a Dahua NVR Flight Radar 24. It's my old Ubiquiti USG security gateway cable modem. I've already had that, of course. And this is the 1,500-watt cyber power pure sine wave battery backup that I already had. Now going back up here, you can see I've got labels here, uh, white on black, and then these are clear uh, background, so black on clear. And then the cables are labeled as well, cable wrapped, those are white labels of course. These are all mono price Cat 6A jumpers, I've got various lengths here going to different components inside of the rack. This is a Ubiquiti uh, direct cable there, SFP ports are interconnected. Also, all of the Cat 6 jacks, the keystones, the keystone blanks, and there's some also some couplers in there are made by VCE. And down below, this is a Legrand. It's a little plastic. You just pull the panel right off, and that's where I have the main power coming in. Cable comes in, it splits after it goes to the surge protector. Power coming in, powered splitter, and these are all the coax feeds to the house. And last but not least, I have some of these M6 carbon steel rack screws. Basically, all of the screws, the cage nuts, everything is black, all matching. So just a little, little touch. And of course, there's tie wraps and wire looms and lots of Velcro involved and just lots of little uh, tidbits that take up quite a bit of time to get this right. So total cost of this entire project, excluding the DVR and the cable modem and... The battery backup which i'd have had after tax shipping and all that stuff you're looking at about fifteen hundred dollars for this uh was it worth it yeah it needed to be done but man what a pain in the butt i wish uh, ubiquity was a little bit better as far as transitioning from the usg to that or to the, you know upgrading if you will but you know you have to be a network engineer to understand some of the stuff that they're talking about there's you have to scan the forums and click and it's a lot of wasted time and watching videos and stuff it's it's just not clear on how to upgrade, so that's one thing that they need to improve upon. Lots of broken links and redirects, and it just directs you back to their main page. So, pain in the butt. So here it is, still uh, figuring this stuff out, trying to learn as I go, but much uh, much better to compared to the mess that I had before. But she's here, so if you have any questions, leave them below, and we'll catch you next time.